Good day, this Chris Family Church. I trust everyone is doing well. For those who do not know me, my name is Craig Stephen, and I'm very excited to discuss the devotion on Matthew chapter 2 today. But before we begin, let's open in prayer. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity that we can spend time in your word. We thank you that we have the opportunity to discuss Matthew chapter 2 in preparation of Easter, which is a very important time for the Christian faith the death and resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So Father God, as we continue, I pray that you will just take your word, apply it to our lives according to your will and according to your purpose. We ask this all in your name, Jesus the Christ. Amen. So thank you for the opportunity for me to discuss my thoughts on Matthew chapter 2. Yes, it is about the birth of the Messiah, the birth of Jesus Christ, the wise men, King Herod, and of course the religious leaders. At first, when you look at the, the chapter, it seems pretty simple. However, I'd like to highlight my take on this chapter with their various responses to the arrival of the Messiah or Jesus Christ. I've titled my devotion, Where Does the Person of Jesus Christ Fit in Your Life? Firstly, we'll have a look at the wise men, or some will refer to them as the astrologers. They had, over a period of time, studied the old manuscript and had a possible idea of where Jesus would be born. When they finally found him, their response was one of joy, worship and bearing gifts. This is so often the opposite of the response that we get from so many believers today. Firstly, we want Jesus to come and seek us. Then we want him to prove who he is to us so we can believe him then over and above that we want him to bless us with gifts we should be like the wise men we must still see Christ daily not for our gain but for who he is and what he means to you in your life secondly we have to look at King Herod Herod was ruthless and he was cunning he executed everyone who was going to be a threat to his throne. He was known as a man of blood, even to the point that he murdered his own wife, his mother-in-law, and even his son. His only intention was to get rid of Jesus, even to the point that the Bible said he stained his hands with blood. Herod misunderstood the reason for the birth of Jesus. Jesus did not seek Herod's throne. He wanted to be the king of Herod's life and offer him eternal life. So today, the world is ready to get rid of Jesus. Yes, we will not have the opportunity to persecute and crucify Jesus physically today. But yet we do it over and over again when we become a religion of tolerance. The world is trying to get rid of Jesus in every single way possible. And even in Christmas, we have converted the birth of Jesus Christ into a circular commercial festive period. Even in our prayers, it is tolerant to pray to God but it is offensive to ask anything in the name of Jesus Christ. Herod acknowledged the Messiah, but though uh, Herod acknowledged the Messiah and thought he was going to be a military threat to his throne. And so would the world today. Jesus is a threat to the liberation and freedom of choice and the acceptance of moral decay. So the modern day believer is tolerant to the generic use and reference to God and is cautious to the use of the name of Jesus Christ in public. Thirdly and lastly we have the religious leaders. They were chief priests who studied the Hebrew prophecies and they knew the scriptures but in Matthew 2 it highlights their knowledge but also their disbelief. They knew where the Messiah was going to be born. 
Yet they lacked in faith to join the wise men on their journey and witness the Messiah. Like the prophecy of Simeon to Mary in Luke chapter 2, the birth of the Messiah will lead to the thought of many hearts that will be revealed. The thoughts of the religious leaders were that of indifference. So in closing, I would like to ask, can you identify where does the person of Jesus Christ fit in your life? Are you joyful, faithful, and gifting to Christ like the wise men? Are you a member of the religion of tolerance, where we welcome the generic God and are cautious to use the name of Jesus Christ in public in all aspects of our life? Or are you like the religious, religious leaders? We know the truth, but lack, but lack faith to act on it. So many people that we spoke about in Matthew chapter 2, they've all heard about Jesus, but their hearts were not moved. Because like today, it is so easy to know the scriptures than to live out the scriptures. So in closing, Rich Chris, I would like to thank you and have a good day further.